Slingshot. Holy, let's go. I'm not expecting. Oh, that's already way better, bro. It actually has physics on the damn string. Um, I'm not expecting Slingshot to be good, obviously, but it's obviously going to be better than it was before. Ink Bomb and Proximity Bomb already sounds a lot better. Looks great. Actual looks way better. I got to be honest. Obviously. Obviously. Let's see. Let's see. Nice. A actual animations. Actual animations. Sweet. Oh, they changed the reload thing. The cursor, it spins whenever you shoot. Nice extra detail. Oh, they actually got my game in here just straight up. <laughs> looks great. Looks great. Please, Diolis, please. Please. Holy crap. Wait, oh, he actually shot a squid? He shot a whole squid. Yeah, he, he shot a whole squid. Oh, so you shoot a squid and it creates like a little tentacle that grabs onto them and stuns them. That's way better. It's kind of like the way it was before, but it's a little bit more creative. That's nice. Dude, the visuals are nice too. Those are good visuals, man. I, oh, it's just the little, the little paints, the blow paint splatters that hit the ground as it flies. It's just... It, it it's the extra detail on such a simple weapon, especially a starter weapon, that it's so nice. It's so nice. That looks great, man. That's amazing. Dude, that's great. That's great. I like that. It's it's kind of what it was before, but it's a lot more creative and it just looks way better. For sure. Way for sure. I like that. Oh, that's what they were showing us. That that's the sneak peek that they showed us. So it didn't have anything to do with bomb. It had to do with slingshot. Obviously, it's not going to be good for PvP. Musket, draconic bullet, and torching shot. Hell yeah, let's go. Oh, I'm looking forward to this, bro. Looks man, that's nice. You you see the reload and everything. I see it. Oh god damn it, man! That's so clean. You shoot it, first initial hit, and then you get three, like, what, homing dragons? No, it's not homing. It just attacks at the area. That's... Bro, that's nice. Yeah, this is only the musket. Dude, this is only... This, yeah, this is only musket, man. That's nice. Dude, Shafi did his thing. They are. It, it's just... It looks great, man. This is so much better. It's just... What makes it so much better, too, is that... Um, the projectiles are way faster. Everything is just faster. And it's just, that's what the guns needed because a lot of the guns in this game are outdated and slow. And in a game where the where the combat is really fast-paced, that's not a good thing. So this is amazing. Really nice animation. Concentrated shot and Marksman Fury. That X skill sounds dangerous. Oh, man. What you got, man? Okay, they went a little crazy with this. They did the, the little spin around reload. That's not... It's like even the simple weapons just feel cool to use. And that's that's not really something you commonly see. Even with the rework swords, it's just this this looks cool to use. Ah, uh, see, so he puts his all. Oh, I think it has an initial hit. And then I think they these outer shots hit them as well. Looks pretty freaking good. Oh, charging up. Oh, nice. Oh, shoot. Oh, it fires multiple times. Bro, that's freaking nice. Wait, there's custom dash animations too. The dash animation looks slightly goofy, but honestly, that's really just a tiny nitpick because the rest of this looks great. Refined. Okay, this is what I'm interested in. Are the refined weapons going to be the same or different? I really hope they're different. Did they go that extra mile? They, I wait, they did go the extra mile. It's kind of the same. It's the same style of attack, but it's improved. It's not. It's not exactly a copy. Of, it's not exactly a copy and paste, but it's an improved version. Yeah, because the last one just said ink shot or something. This one says ink swarm. So this is better. Whoa. Okay. Hold on. That looks sweet. 
it, it is an improved version. Excuse. What? Are you telling me that you get life steal with the refined slingshot? Look, I know. S <laughs> yeah, holy crap, they cooked. So, wait, that's huge. Oh, dude, the only weapon that was capable of life stealing for a long time was Soul Guitar. You're telling me you have a weapon in first C that can life steal? No. No way, bro. That's a lot of abilities for one move. Refine for the refining. Okay, bro. What? It hits them, sticks to them initially, so it hits them, does initial damage, grabs onto them so they can't move, and it leaves behind squids that life steal, give health to you while damaging them. Holy! They actually they actually made the cheap weapons good. Cause like just because it's a cheap weapon doesn't mean it has to be bad. Dude, that is so good. Um, dude. Oh, you know what this kind of reminds me of? It, like, not exactly, but it kind of reminds me of it. It kind of reminds me of it a little bit. Oh my god, no way. Dude, this is such a callback. This is, um... A, a slime. Uh, Elemental Battlegrounds. It, it really reminds me of that ability where... Holy, it, dude, it's slime. It, it's literally a call. And not only that, the slimes are pink, too. This is literally an Elemental Battlegrounds callback. I, if this isn't, I don't know what is. Let's see how much life steal it is. That's pretty... I was not expecting the heal to be that good. Dude, that... Dude, that's a lot of life steal. And what if you stack this with... Uh, there's, um, there's an enchantment in the game that that like life steals you get it from the scrolls if you holy cow we're only we're only at refined slingshot and i'm blown away okay it's a little bit of a better version of the other one as decent aoe that looks great um that one that, that one seems that one's obviously better it seems okay but the other dude that z skill oh i'm gonna be messing with that a lot man that that just seems really good i wonder if it scales off of your gun stat it might which is fine magma blaster <laughs> bro you just pulled out us this guy just pulled out a cyberpunk shoddy i'm all here for it though that looks great it does yes Bro, what? Wait. That has a really good spread. I think you could probably land this in PvP pretty easily. At least more easier than other M1s. That has a really good spread. Wait, let me see that again. Oh, wow. If you have really good aim, I think you could probably hit this most of the time. Dude, that's really nice. Holy crud. Oh, nice. Uh, I'm re I'm dude, I'm I'm ex I'm extraordinarily happy about this. <clears throat> oh, damn. Magmatic pressure? Oh. Oh, it's like a little it's kind of like a little uh mini gun kind of, but with I wonder if that stuns him. That might have PvP potential. Oh, God. That's so nice. Yeah, what did this replace? This, I think this replaced... Oh, this replaced the refined flintlock. Two separate bullets. Okay. I like... Oh, does it like light them up blue? Splitting beam. Oh, dude, that's... Yo, that's nice. Look, you see the stun animations too. Look, look at that. The crazy. Oh, that's on a first C. <laughs> that's on a first C gun. That's on a first C gun. This is on a. Dude, the AOE is literally. 
this is this is replacing refined. Do you guys know how trash refined flintlock is? We went from that to this. Th this actually looks like it has PvP potential. Like I'm, th this th this has like a dragon trident levels of AOE. Uh, it is Eolas. I mean, you're you're right. That, that that looks better than most swords in the game right now. Which I'm happy about, man. Uh, dude, guns have been getting it so dirty. I wonder what bazooka's gonna be. I don't even think we're halfway through this. I don't think that's gonna be very good in PvP just for the fact it it's really slow. It's probably gonna hit harder than most other gun M1s, but it's really slow. So we're definitely not using this for the M1. If you want the M1, that's gonna be like a Sidium. Oh, it actually fires a chain. You can hear it. That one seems okay. Like, once again, I'm not going to judge the PvP potential, but it looks great. Okay, little... Fires in a little arc. Doesn't have a lot of range. Can you actually, like, aim it, or do you have to be at a certain distance for it to hit? No, you can aim it. You can aim it. Bizarre revolver? So it's not a rifle. Bro, that's an alien weapon. <laughs> Let's see that one. portal the, sh the okay so the third shot on this is always uh, a bigger shot wait and it's it's funny because like you don't even fire it from the gun technically you fire it from a portal that i guess the gun creates <laughs> that, that that's kind of funny so it's like the bullets aren't even coming from the gun it's kind of like the gun is a catalyst to summon the actual thing that fires the bullet that's confusing but it's cool two three i'll Okay, so I like how all of a, a lot of the guns have gimmicks with their M1s, kind of. So your third shot is going to be better. Oh, gosh. That auto-targets? Oh, right, because um, Bizarre Rifle already auto-aimed. So this auto-aims, too. Oh, that, it's called Space Bending Blast. I mean, it's going to break the laws of reality, so. Dude, that's freaking sweet, bro. Yo. Okay, so it fires into one portal, and then from that portal, it auto-aims onto him. That's sick. Yeah, let's see the range on that. That's a pretty impressive range. That's, that's pretty impressive that, that it can auto-target onto them from that distance. It doesn't seem like a lot, but it actually kind of is. It really gives you a lot of leeway with your aiming. Oh shoot! It's a little bit like uh like Tushita Z, I think. I think Tushita Z. Oh, you start fire, you start blasting from a bunch of portals. Yeah, man, I'm gonna. I'm definitely becoming a gun main. <laughs> Yo, a lot, all, a lot of these seem usable. Yeah, bro. Oh my. Yeah, you guys got me. You guys got me, bro. A sidium, a sidium. I always say a sidium, but it's a sidium. What did they do with this? <laughs> Ghostbusters uh, contraption no but seriously it looks good that's a way better model M1 let's see it oh you kind of you kind of kind of spank the kind of spank the pack a little bit to get some juice in there oh nice okay so they kept the way they kept it the way it was it the M1's exactly the same it's just that it has better visuals on it which is all it needed Yes, it does. Nice, dude. Nice. Oh, spiky bomb. Yep, pretty much the same way it was before, but it, it, it just looks great. I like the stun animations, man. Instead of smoke, let's see it. Yeah, I yeah I agree. Uh, I agree exactly what Zeola said there. He said that they don't want to change the they don't want to change the gameplay on weapons that are already good. Cause like a a, a, a sid like a sidum rifle doesn't need like a crazy like gigantic explosion. Yeah, that just looks that looks good. That just that looks exactly what it needs to be. This is the thing that replaced Serpent Bow. Uh, we saw the M ones for this. shoot oh it basically has like the the three-headed venom thing going on 
Oh my gosh, just imagine what the Venom rework's gonna look like. That's nice, nice. We saw the M1. Venom is spit. Oh shoot. Oh, it looks it looks a tiny bit like regular musket, but that's fine. Oh no, it's not. Nope, it's not the same like regular musket. Never mind. It has some auto aim on it. I take that back. <laughs> okay, that's fair. Yeah, it shouldn't be able to do that from that close. I mean, I'm sorry, that far. Nice. Oh, it's kind of like the same before. So it looks, uh, it kind of looks the same as before, but it has like the binding thing, but it has a little stun on it. Definitely going to be decent for PVP for sure. They kind of kept it uh, the same gameplay wise because I'm going to be honest, Serpent Bow was already a decent weapon. Sweet, bro. Sweet. Kabucha. Oh my goodness. Man, my my boy Rex is gonna love this, bro. I <laughs> do. He's gonna love this. Oh, you kind of hold it over your shoulder. Oh, nice. That looks great, bro. Blazing Phoenix and Dragon Tempest. They kind of changed the names a little bit. Oh shoot. So some feathers. All right, some feathers come off every time you shoot. Just so, just some small little details that fit the weapon. That's really it. But oh. Oh shoot. It probably works the same way as before because, I mean, it's a good weapon. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. But that is way different from before. Holy shoot. <laughs> oh, it explodes um, on surfaces differently depending on kind of how it hits. Oh, shoot. Oh, that's nice. Oh, it's it stuns them initially during the first few seconds of that. So I think there's some potential there for combos. So that didn't used to have combo potential before. So now it does. That's a direct improvement. And it looks freaking great. This is the move everyone uses. D oh, oh that, that looks freaking great, bro. Oh, my goodness. Oh. It, yeah. It, it, okay, that looks way better, man. That is way freaking better. Oh my goodness. Yeah, let's see the dragon. Oh, that's sick. Oh, Bazooka, I've been waiting for... That's kind of drippy. It's probably fires faster than cannon for sure. It's definitely not going to be... It probably isn't going to be that hard to hit in PvP. It shoots pretty quickly, and it has a decent range. It looks pretty good. It's auto-tracking. Oh... If it's close enough, which is great. That actually, that whole auto tracking thing just actually gives it some good PvP potential. Skull gets, oh. oh. Guys, calm down. You guys didn't have to go this hard. I'm going to be, I'm not going to lie. I wasn't, I wasn't expecting Soul Guitar to get reworked because it already looked really freaking good. So they changed it from Soul Guitar to Skull Guitar. I guess for copyright purposes. Yeah, it's already a good weapon. Oh, the name and the model got changed. I don't think the weapon did. Like the visuals. That's a way better model. Oh, they added some animations on the attack screen to charge them. Yeah, Soul Guitar always looked good. Yeah, Soul Guitar always looked great. Definitely did not need any changes. Nice, they added some animations to that.